up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite trail shoes and that is the new balance field sale super comp trainer i love this shoe and of course i can't wait to tell you more about it and we're going to be talking about what i like about it what i don't like about it what's it like to run in and should you buy this shoe okay let's get to the specs on this shoe you got the upper which is a which is ew, i can't talk which is a synthetic mesh upper and it's very breathable well i find it very breathable barely barely breathable it's got some water protection and a little bit of toe protection. I say a little bit because it does have some give to it. Now, it's not as, uh, you know, as hard as you, as you would find it on a typical trail shoe or even a hiking boots or shoe. But that's because this is a race day trail shoe. So I think, I think they did what they could to make the shoe as light as possible. So a little bit of toe protection um, does help. I've, you know, had some times where... Are running down um, through a trail or even coming down from you know not such a challenging hike and I've hit my front toes on the rock and maybe I didn't hit it that hard for me to get injured but it did help a little bit um, reduce the impact now I'm pretty sure if I was coming at those rocks a whole lot faster and I hit those things that would hurt most definitely and then we do have a very thin tongue and it's a gusseted tongue you do have some um, holes that's going through them that's just more breathability for me it doesn't really feel like it gets in the way any moving it just feels great and then around the ankle and the collar of the shoe you got some some padding it's not a lot but it's also um, very comfortable i find it very comfortable so um of course the upper is such a good snug fit and it keeps your um your feet locked in completely i do not have any um well, Oh my God, what have it? I do not have any heel slippage. That's what I was trying to say. No heel slippage for me. But I would say the biggest drawback so far is the fact that it is very narrow in the toe box. So you will have to go a half size or even a full size up, um, depending on how it feels on your foot. Because um, your toes do get a little squished and they do hit the side walls of the shoe. And then we have the midsole. I am a big fan of the Fuel Cell midsole. It's... I don't know, it's one of my favorites when it comes to a lot of the running shoes that I run in. Um, New Balance has done a really great job with that, and it continues with this shoe. Now, of course, this midsole isn't uh, the same that you will find in an SC Trainer version 2, so it's not very squishy or very soft. I do find it just to be right there in the middle, and that's because you also have that carbon plate in the shoe too. So you've got a good amount of comfort with a good amount of, just a, of stiffness. Not so much to where it's uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable, because I've done long miles in this shoe and I didn't find it to bother me, based on my experience, of course. And you do have the carbon plate. I don't know if you can see it right there, um, but the carbon plate does help. It's not a very stiff carbon plate. It's uh, you, you you don't find it to be the same as a race day road shoe. So it, I feel like it, it helps more with stability. When it comes to the outsole, they're using Vibram Light. You have some pretty small lugs, and they have a lot of space between them. Now, that's good for me because you're not trapping a whole lot of stuff between the lugs, so it's easy just to stomp it out before you get in the house. Well, I find it to have a lot of grip. And uh, when I'm running on the road, um, it doesn't feel that bad, but of course, it's not going to be the softest or forgiving shoe on the road because it's made more for the trails, and that's perfectly fine. When it comes to the stack height and drop, you got 36.5 millimeter in the heel, 26.5 millimeter in the forefoot, and a 10 millimeter drop. And in my size, 10 and a half, and I believe it's about 10 ounces. So it's not that heavy. It's also not that light. But at the same time, I like it. it does, I don't mind it. It doesn't even feel that way to me. It feels much lighter when I'm running because I'm typically going pretty fast in these shoes. I'm not really going that slow all the time compared to other trail shoes that you feel the weight. So you tend to just cruise it out. Now we're going to get to what I like about this shoe. What I like about this shoe is that um, first, before I even get to the trails, I typically have to take the pavement first where I live, and I like it. I like it a lot. It, it just feels great to start running in. Of course, um, it's not that comfortable on the pavement, but it's not bad either. You know you're going to get to the trails in this shoe, and this shoe is mainly built for the, uh, for the trails, not the pavement, so that's to be expected. But I love the race fit of this shoe. It just feels like your the, the upper just feels more like a race day um fit to me i love this that snug feel and it just feels tight on the foot and i'm ready to go i don't have to worry about any uh slippage uh, at all on the shoe and it's, it feels breathable now of course it's there's a little bit of water protection but 
there's times where I ran the rain or hit a puddle and the water went straight in. So of course I didn't expect it to be the shoe that would keep my feet dry. That's just gonna happen no matter what. And it just feels light on the foot and I find myself having so much fun just hauling it in this shoe. And if I wanted to slow down and just cruise my miles on the trails, I can do that. If I wanted to pick it up, I can do that pretty fast. And it just feels so balanced too. I don't find the shoe feeling unstable to where I'm gonna roll you know, or twist my ankle at all. Because one, the stack height is not even that tall, or I don't find it that tall in the first place for me to even feel like the shoe is going to cause me to like, you know, roll my ankle or anything or just have an injury in general. And of course, like I was saying earlier, I do find that the shoe um, has a perfect balance of being comfortable while also having some firmness to the shoe. So that way I can uh, feel better about picking up the pace and it doesn't feel like it's slowing me down. Because for me, if a shoe is too squishy, it, it, if I, I'm slowing down most definitely and I like so I'm, I'm a speed person I just love to pick up the pace so in this shoe I'm it, I was able to do that and keep that pace as long as I want to and I'm comfortable with it. Well, the performance of this shoe is just really great and I'm pretty sure you know people can use it for much longer than six to eight miles of you know trail running I've so far I believe in one day I did 13 miles in this shoe and I still felt great also the other thing is I walked around all day and work in this shoe and it, it, it felt great to me. I didn't feel like it bothered me, but on top of that, uh, that's my experience. I can't say the same thing for everyone because everyone's foot is different, of course. So I'm pretty sure someone may not like the feel of walking around a shoe with a plate in it. Um, but for me, I didn't feel like that plate was so stiff for me to be uncomfortable in all day. So I've done a few times, um, I've done, I've had a few times where I've, I, you know, walked around all day in this shoe and it was just absolutely comfortable. So if you want to walk around this shoe, you can. And when it comes to the plate, I really like um, how the plate works in this shoe. It just feels like the plate kind of just help you stay stable when you're hitting the rocks um, and just, you know, keeps you going and keep your ankle from rolling. Now, what I don't like about this shoe, basically the toe box is a bit too narrow and I have flat and wide feet and I did find myself hitting the sidewall a little bit in this shoe. Um, I, I want to have size up, but I still hit that side. The other thing is, when you're going down hills, um, your toes do hit the front of the shoe. And I don't know how long it's going to take until your toes turn purple from hitting the front of the shoe way too much. I wouldn't want to feel that at all because that sucks. I haven't had none of my toes turn purple yet, and I don't want that. So I'm hoping in the next version of the shoe, they somehow fix that. I would say that those are the main things that I've probably dislike about the shoe there isn't a whole lot to dislike um for me of course i you know the performance is great the fit is great and it's just a likable shoe oh the other thing i dislike about the shoe i almost forgot uh the price is 200 dollars, but maybe i should cut them some slack because i've been seeing a shoe on sale for around 169 you know, what's it like to run in this shoe it's great it's fun great performance i probably kind of touched on that a little bit earlier when I was talking now, about you. Do I recommend this shoe? Yes, most definitely I recommend this shoe. Now, not to people who have really wide feet, no, this is a big no for the shoe. Not wide foot friendly. But besides that, if your feet can fit and and you know you can do the run in these shoes, go right ahead. I would say go try them on first to see if you like them. Remember half size or even full size up depending on your on on your on your on your foot or feet. <laughs> Uh, but besides that, I do recommend this shoe. It's a great shoe to have in your trail day shoes if you want something that's more of a race day fit, light, fast, and you have a plate in it for those who desire a plate. Some people don't want a plate, so this might not be the shoe for you. But if you do have this shoe, of course, let me know what you think. How many miles have you put in it? Have you done more trails or small hikes that's not really that challenging in, um, in them? What do you think um, about the shoe so far? So far, I think I'm at like maybe like 50 miles on this shoe, so I want to put more and see what happens at when I'm at 100 miles on this shoe. But as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Of course, I'm across all the platforms you can find me. Well, not all of them, but most of the platforms. You got Threads, Strava, Instagram, Run with CT, across the board, pretty easy to find me. And I'll catch you in the next one.